couldn't be more pleased to join you in today's celebration as we honor Dr. Jared L. Cohen. Thank you. In the naming of this wonderful building, as we will hear from some of your most ardent admirers, Jerry, this building embodies some of your most personally meaningful contributions to Carnegie Mellon, which given your long list of accomplishments, that says so very much. In recognition of the accomplishments of Jerry as the president of Carnegie Mellon, the Board of Trustees voted to name this building the Cohen University Center. Here we are today to make this official, and Kiers Pollock and I are pleased to be here on behalf of the trustees. It's very fitting that this building was selected to have Jerry's name because it is at the heart of campus life. Over his 16 years as president, Jerry had an impact that every aspect of campus life in this building represents the sum total of activity better than any other single place on campus. And to thank you for all that you've done for CMU. You were the perfect choice and a very special man. Thank you very, very much. It should not be more appropriate for this building to be named for President Jared Cohen, under whose presidency there was such explicit recognition of the value of what, what Mike Murphy, although perhaps no one else, has called the meta curriculum, although Mike, I always like that term. The student organizations, the internships, the student service activities, recreational and athletic activities, study groups, the pickup games of basketball, the lunches shared, the friendships made. Throughout Jerry's 16 years as president, he recognized the need to continually improve the quality of campus life, both in Pittsburgh and, I might say, around the world, for faculty, for staff, and especially for students. This is a story that's been told by my friend and colleague, John Hannon, Associate Dean of Student Affairs, that I would ask that he join me at the podium to share with you this memory and to share with your closest Friends. Uh, the university was presented with the opportunity to build out the unfinished lower level of this building to include, among other things, a recreation and game room. And one particular feature that Dr. Murphy was quite insistent on including in the game room was a shuffleboard table. The problem with shuffleboard tables is that they must be constructed and delivered in one unified piece, namely a 30 foot long object weighing 1,500 pounds. Dr. Murphy charged Dean and I with finding 15 student volunteers of adequate musculature to move the table into its final resting place. But I can assure you that shortly after starting the process of moving the table, my 15 friends from the football team realized they were in for an experience far, far more challenging than any three-a-day practice held during Lackner's preseason camp. We quickly learned that we were being pwned by the table. Blood, sweat, tears, all were clearly in play as we shared an unspoken contemplation regarding whether we would actually be able to be successful in getting that table moved into place. It was at that exact moment, while we were in the process of a short eight-foot advance of the table, that I saw Dr. Cohen round the corner of the hallway we were in. As soon as he saw the agonized look on all of our faces, he hustled over to the table whipped off his suit jacket in a move that was half James Bond and half Don Draper, <laughs> grabbed a pre free portion of the table, and began assisting us in our undertaking. Five awkward minutes later, we found ourselves setting the table down in its final and current resting place. The students and I all stared at each other in disbelief, partly because we had accomplished that which had seemed unthinkable 50 yards ago, and partly because our university president had been the game changer in making it happen. No one knew exactly what to say, except, of course, Dr. Cohen, who appropriately broke the shared silence by uttering the now immortal words, boys, that was a friggin' beast. <laughs> there have been significant moments during the life of this center, both happy moments, like its opening in 1996, and visits from President Barack Obama, and sad, but incredibly inspiring moments, like Professor Randy Posh's famous last lecture, that I know personally, Dr. Cohn, affected you very deeply, and moments that are forever indelibly etched in our minds. Ladies and gentlemen, these beautiful banners that you see hanging from our pillars 
and letters that will adorn our walls. Dr. Cohen, now that your name will forever grace our building, please know, sir, that the example that you set, all of us will strive to achieve. And from this moment on, for all who enter, no matter how far from home they may be, they will never be alone. Because in the Cohen University Center, this will truly be everyone's home away from home on campus. On behalf of the entire Carnegie Mellon staff in Pittsburgh, California, and around the world, congratulations and thank you, Dr. Cohen. Many issues matter to our students. There are many things I could bring up, but what I focused on was a sound mind, sound body philosophy and the need to invest in a university center in a different way. Now, tonight, my 10-year reunion from Carnegie Mellon, I can stand here proud to think about the construction that is about to take place that will forever change this university center and endure in the name of the man who is behind it all. On behalf of all alumni worldwide and all future students of this great institution, we thank you for your commitment to the student body. We are truly proud to be Carnegie Mellon alumni who went through this experience with you. A walk through the UC is truly a glimpse into the inner workings of the broader Carnegie Mellon community. To me, it is fitting that we are here today to dedicate the University Center to the presidency and continuing legacy of Dr. Cohen. I have only known Dr. Cohen for two years. However, my Carnegie Mellon experience has been enriched as a result of my interactions with him. It's a great day for the Cohen family, and it's a great day for Carnegie Mellon University. Jerry, Bunny, Hallie, Josh, Solomon, and Nathan, congratulations. Congratulations not only for, and thanks not only for your sacrifices, Jerry, but the sacrifices of your family. Presidents Emeriti, I say for Jerry and also for Mark Nordenberg, they never leave their passions behind. They never quit. They just lose their faculties. <laughs> what I want to do on behalf of the Board of Trustees of Carnegie Mellon University is to do this. I hereby name this building the Jared L. Cohen University Center in recognition of your distinctive service and enormous contributions that you have made as the eighth president of this university. Congratulations, Jerry. You're focused on me, I guess, because you can only put one name up there. But if you feel good about the last 16 years, it's because of what the university did, what all those administrators in Warner Hall and around the university did, what the faculty have achieved the f fabulous students we've had, the alumni, the staff, everybody affiliated with this university. Uh, it's marvelous to be the guy that all of his praise is heaped on and who gets his name up on the building. But I know, and you should be mindful of the fact, that what we're really celebrating is an era in this university's history. I can't thank you enough for this incredible honor Thank you all for being here today and enjoy having fun in Cohen or whatever you call it. Thank you very, very much.